Hey everybody, Dan here with LeafScore.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sori Electric Toothbrush. Uh, this is a sonic toothbrush available from Sori, which is headquartered in the US and UK. Uh, it, is, it has a major focus on sustainability, which we love to hear. I'm gonna be taking a look at the uh, packaging, the actual product. Um, I'll let you know what I think of it as I use it. Um, and then I'm going to take a look at the uh, sustain sustainability of the product and the company itself. So the Surrey product comes in a cardboard box. Again, I'll discuss the sustainability of the packaging in a later section. These are prepaid uh, return bags for the brush heads. So this is already paid. You can drop your brush heads in here ship them back to Surrey and they will recycle them at no cost to you, no shipping either, which is really, really awesome. I love that Surrey does this. Um, I'll discuss this again in uh, the sustainability section, um, but this is a biodegradable bag and it just makes um, recycling those brush heads super simple. So this is the actual box, um, really nice packaging and I can tell that this is recycled material just based on the feel and look of it, which is very nice. A little instruction manual. Here is the actual uh, brush body. Let's open this up and take a peek at what else comes in here. Uh, it looks like there is a charging stand and then a box with brush heads in it. Um, so I'll, I'll open these up and take a look at these as well. This is a mirror mount, so I'm assuming that that's magnetic. That's very cool. So you can stick this to your mirror and then just automatically attach your Surrey toothbrush to that, which is, which is really cool. And then here is the package with the brush head. Can also tell based on the feel that this is recycled material. It says right here, this wrapper is home compostable. Please dispose of me and I will biodegrade naturally. That's really awesome. It doesn't even need to go to an industrial composter. So the head slides on nice and easily. So first impressions, this feels like a very sturdy toothbrush. This is a metal case. Um, it is aluminum. I will discuss that a little bit later on as well. Uh, the brush heads are, they feel like, they're a little bit difficult to get off. They feel like plastic, but these are made out of plant-based cornstarch. Um, so goes on easily, a little bit difficult to get off. Uh, so if you have multiple people in your home brushing your teeth, that might be a little bit annoying. Uh, there's a single button here to turn it on. So I'm gonna do that. Wow, that is, you can feel the vibrations are very, very intense. Uh, I'm going to test this out for a week, give you my first impressions and uh, overall impressions, and then I'll be back to discuss that as well as the uh, sustainability. I actually forgot to take a look at the charging stand, so I will do that now. Uh, super simple, so uh, this is a USB connection. So you will need a USB charging brick to plug it in. Uh, you could also probably plug this into your laptop to charge. And then uh, the toothbrush just sits right there to charge. It is magnetic, which is pretty nice. So super simple, minimalist design, um, which won't take up much room on your bathroom vanity. So I'll be back to discuss my first impressions, uh, what I think of actually using this toothbrush and the sustainability of the product and the company as a whole. All right, I'm back after about a week of testing the Surrey electric toothbrush. Um, just based on first impressions over the first week of testing, uh, this is a super high powered sonic toothbrush. So I've used other electric toothbrushes before with uh, rotating brush heads. Um, like I mentioned before, this is a sonic toothbrush, so the brush head does not rotate. Instead, um, the body sends vibrations through the brush head and it uh, vibrates against your teeth to provide uh, cleaning power. When I first used this on the high setting, it was almost too intense. So um, it's I, what I would say is as close as you can get to a, um, a, an, a traditional electric toothbrush without actually having rotating heads. So the vibrating action that actually provides cleaning for your mouth um, is gentler on gums, but it really doesn't feel gentler as other sonic toothbrushes do. Um, so this is a really high powered toothbrush. Uh, just the quality alone, 
Um, I've dropped this uh, only one time, but have had no issues with um, how it performs, uh, no cracking or damage to the case or the brush head. So it does have two speed modes. Uh, if you hit the button once, you'll see the white light. And then if you hit it again, it'll go down to blue. And then if you hit it one more time, it'll shut off. So like I mentioned, the high powered setting is almost too intense uh, the first time you use it. It feels a little strange, but you very quickly get used to it. Within two days, I was using the high powered setting. Overall, this feels like a really high quality toothbrush and it left my teeth feeling super clean. Uh, so I have no complaints about how the toothbrush actually functions as a toothbrush. Um, I've enjoyed using it and honestly will probably replace my current electric toothbrush with this one. The charge has lasted a week, which is uh, not really saying much, but um, I haven't had to recharge it yet, but charging once every four months is really not that big of a deal. A really cool feature that this toothbrush has is um, the haptic feedback that it sends you uh, as you're brushing. So there's a two minute timer on this brush. Um, you obviously can go longer, but it has uh, notifications, so to speak, for two minutes worth of brushing. So when you first hit the button, um, it will go for 30 seconds and then there'll be a brief interruption in the vibration to let you know that it's time to switch quadrants of your mouth. So it'll do that four times, 30 seconds for the top left, 30 seconds for the top right, and then 30 seconds each for the bottom left and right. Um, so nice feature to have. Uh, most electric toothbrushes that I've used have that feature, um, but it's great that Surrey included that. My wife tested this toothbrush as well uh, with a separate brush head, of course, um, and she really enjoys it too. She is also going to move over to this toothbrush uh, from the current electric toothbrush that we have. The back of the brush heads also have a tongue scrubber, which is a nice feature to have. So I've used that on my tongue and my cheeks. Um, it's kind of intense on the higher setting on your cheeks, but again, after a few days, you'll get used to that and it really leaves your whole mouth feeling super clean. So overall, really, really happy with the Surrey electric toothbrush so far. Given that LeapScore is concerned with sustainability, um, I wanted to talk about the sustainability of this product and Surrey as a company uh, as a whole. So first off, the packaging. Uh, the actual box is um, cardboard that it comes in, and then Surrey uses recyclable materials in its smaller boxes that come inside the main shipping box. Surrey includes some recyclable information on the side there. So anything with this symbol is going to be fully recyclable. Anything with this symbol is compostable in a home composting setup, which is really nice. Um, some of the materials need to go to an industrial composting site, but the ones, uh, the packaging materials with that symbol on them can all be composted at home. A lot of their packaging also notes that they're climate neutral, according to climatepartner.com. Uh, they even include the web address uh, that you can go to to verify that Surrey is a climate neutral company. So basically they invest in green projects to offset their fossil fuel consumption and their CO2 production to be totally carbon neutral across the board from their manufacturing process to their packaging, even to their shipping. So they offer free shipping in the US and the UK, they ship worldwide, and they offset the CO2 production um, from their shipping in their climate projects as well. So I wanted to mention a couple of the other packaging materials because packaging is a big place where a lot of electric toothbrushes fall short in terms of sustainability. Um, so this is the package for the additional brush heads. And it says on the back, uh, that it is home compostable. The boxes that hold the brush head bag and the charging stand both have notes about the uh, company being climate neutral, and they also have the recycling um, icon to let you know that these are 100% recyclable. A big area where Surrey stands apart from other toothbrush companies is how it handles brush heads at the end of their life. So every Surrey product comes with this bag. So this is a biodegradable bag. There's a note on here that it is home compostable. Uh, it is prepaid postage. So Surrey pays for you to send this back to them. They ask that you uh, put no, no fewer than three brush heads in here at once. And once you do, you can seal this up drop it in a mailbox and this will get shipped back to Surrey and they will remove pieces of the brush heads that are compostable in industrial composting sites and send them to those sites. Uh, and then they will recycle the materials that they can from the brush heads. So that's a really, really great thing that Surrey does. Not only makes it possible to recycle the brush heads, but makes it so convenient that uh, customers will 
actually recycled them. The battery compartment is not sealed. So this is another area where Surrey really stands apart from the competition. Most electric toothbrushes have a sealed battery compartment, which means that the battery is gonna end up in a landfill. Surrey made their toothbrush totally modular. So if you send this back to Surrey, they can disassemble the uh, battery compartment, take the battery out and recycle it. They can also recycle all of the materials that are used in the toothbrush. So the aluminum and steel that go into the body of the toothbrush, the internal components, um, and like I mentioned already, the brush head. Additionally, if you ever have an issue with your toothbrush, uh, you can send it back to Surrey and they, will, they can replace individual components that have failed. So they can replace the battery, they can replace the electronics in there, uh, they can replace just the case if it's damaged. Um, any part of this they can replace rather than manufacturing a new toothbrush, which is really, really awesome. So the brush head, uh, the plastic-like material here, is actually made out of plant-based uh, cornstarch. The bristles are made out of castor oil. So rather than having uh, plastic-based brush heads like many toothbrush, electric toothbrush companies have, and nylon bristles, most of the materials on this brush head are recyclable or compostable. So Surrey includes information online as to how you can uh, compost or recycle uh, parts of the brush heads at home. Or like I mentioned, you can put them in that uh, prepaid postage bag, send them off to Surrey, and they will recycle and or compost them however they can. Just a quick note that some of these materials cannot be composted at home. They do have to go to an industrial composting site. So that's one area where Surrey could improve, but really this is way better than I've seen from most toothbrush companies. So really Surrey stands ahead of the competition in sustainability. Like I mentioned, Surrey partners with Climate Partner to offset its CO2 production. So it is a completely carbon neutral uh, company. As of the filming of this review on Climate Partner, I confirmed that Surrey has offset uh, over a million pounds of CO2 so far. Surrey is also pending a B Corp certification, uh, which is really, really great. I suspect that they will run into no major issues in getting that actual certification, uh, but as of this filming, it has not been certified yet. Lastly, Surrey's product is largely manufactured in China, but the company has stated that they are looking into alternatives, including creating their own manufacturing sites in the US. Overall, I really, really love the Surrey Sonic toothbrush. Um, it's powerful enough to use instead of a traditional uh, electric toothbrush and I would wager that it's healthier on your gums, certainly gentler than using a manual toothbrush. It feels very high quality and it's a high powered toothbrush that's almost too high power at the high setting when you first start using it. Again, you do get used to that um, and it leaves your mouth feeling totally clean from your teeth and gums to your cheeks using the bristles and the tongue scrubber on the backside of the brush head. The battery life isn't the best. You'll have to recharge this every three to five weeks according to the company, um, depending on how often you brush your teeth, but really that's plenty. Uh, and it comes with a convenient charger that's very um, low key, can sit on top of your counter without having to put it away after every charge. You just pop it on there, keep it fully charged, and you'll run into no issues at all. In terms of sustainability, Surrey is way above the competition in my opinion. Everything from the packaging uh, being biodegradable and recyclable and made of recycled materials, the CO2 production in the shipping being offset, uh, and the manufacturing process being offset as well in terms of CO2 production and fossil fuel usage, uh, just really makes Surrey stand apart from pretty much any other electric toothbrush company. It also includes added touches like the uh, prepaid postage bag to send back spent brush heads, uh, instructions on its website on how to recycle and compost parts of the brush heads, uh, and the modular design with the removable battery that lets Surrey recycle the internal components, which you don't see from most electric toothbrushes, uh, and replace parts of it in case anything does get damaged. So overall, really, really pleased with the Surrey electric toothbrush. Uh, this is going to replace my current electric toothbrush, uh, and it just makes me feel better using such a sustainable product. So definitely recommend the Surrey to anyone looking to replace their manual or electric toothbrush and improve their sustainability overall. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.